mom prijatelju je auto bilo do prozora u vodi koji je došao ovdje iz Srbije i sad je u panici kako je zapravo prevući to auto, na kraju je to auto završeno i na odpadu. Njega je ovaj put koštao zbog poplava, zbog svega koštao oko 10.000 eura. Prvo što sam vidio jeste da je padala keša dok sam bio na koncertu. Na koncertu sam bio u kupačnim gačama, apsolutno bez ikakve ideje šta se sprema i kako se sprema jer mislim nije nas ni zanimalo toliko da kažem jer došli smo da uživamo. Posle toga smo i vidjeli crveni meteo alarm i počeli spremati šatere, međutim bilo je malo kasno, a moj šater je bio poplavljen. Nisam jedini koji je imao takvu situaciju, nisam jedini koji je spavao vani, nekoliko ljudi isto tako sam vidio na ulici da spava ispod neke strahe. Bilo je užasno, bilo je horor. Ljudi su trčali na sve strane, samo sa peškirima. Kakva je bila onda evakuacija? Ja se duboko zahvaljujem građanima Velenja na evakuaciji koju su napravili i na gostoprimstvu ovdje. Ovo je stvarno nešto bilo čarobno. Posle noć provedene je vani na kiši. Ja sam ovdje dobio i odjeću. Dobio sam prvo što sam dobio prijevoz, pa onda sam dobio i odjeću. Dobio sam toplu hranu, toplu riječ što je najbitnije od svega i stvarno nadu da džovečanstvo može jednostavno da radi zajedno. Dakle ste, kako ćete sad kući? Sad trenutno čekam autobus za Živinice, pa ću poslije toga za Sarajevo. Iz Sarajeva sam i nadam se da ću ubrzo kući. We were ready packing to be ready to leave, because we were meant to be in Italy today to fly back to Malta. But our flight is Monday, so luckily we still have a chance to get home. How did you find the hospitality here? Very good. Everyone's very friendly and helpful. When we asked for information, they gave it to us straight away. We were here at Metal Days. Three days early. Four days early. Four days early. Four days early. And we had an absolutely great time um, up until the very last day where I had a great time. But then he got his tent flooded and slept hey, hey, in the hey, car. Hey, hey, hey. I, I slept <laughs> in my car. I was dry. Your tent's still flooded, though. Uh, yeah, the evacuation started, oh, okay. and we, for probably until about three in the afternoon, insisted we could find a road back to Italy. Uh, we then realized we couldn't, and we then calmly decided we would just pack up and come here. And then when we woke up this morning, we apparently need to stay here another night because the road to Italy is still not open yet. Um, so it seems like we'll just have to be here for another day. How do you find the hospitality here? Uh, I think we've all been... Like we've generally really, well. really impressed by by the quality of the help we've had here and how just well organized it was on, on our arrival. We just showed up and people said, yeah, just stay there. There's warm stuff over there. There's clean, fresh towels over there. I was all extremely impressed. And As a festival itself, I, I would say it's not really like how Metal Days used to be, but it's another festival, a new festival, which is also really cool. I did really enjoy the festival the lineup was really good there was plenty of opportunity to get food um, very good food very good food. on many occasions the langosh. the langosh was really good shout out to the old ladies who were doing the langosh at no, the langosh then yeah they were really good yes. oh and the old ladies who were doing the chefab chichi Those we got chefab chichi every night <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know it's not traditionally <laughs> slovenian food it's croatian or bosnian or something But uh, every time we come to Slovenia, we have it, and the Slovenians don't seem to mind it. They also seem to think it's very good, so... Yeah. <laughs> Especially in Vilnius. Yeah, all right, Especially good to hear. In Vilenia, yeah. <laughs> we have been making the best out of it so far, um, and we will continue to make the best out of it and hope we can bring a little bit of smiles to everyone around uh, by just doing our usual stuff of, well, being silly, generally. <laughs> Presenetljivo zutri videt, kako se pač ljudje na napihljivi blazini mim šotorami izpušča, tako da pa da traktori norijo, pa ljudje ven vlečejo, tako da. Lej, vse zgodi na ravo ne moramo glih ostaviti. V socialnih medij smo pač zelo velik informacij noter dobili, kako pa kaj pa pa tudi zelo hitro so organizirali zadeve, da smo na suhem pa varnem. Iz kod prihajata? Kresnice litija. Glede festivala bom rekel, je bilo zelo zanimivo, no, res da je to prvo leto v Veleniji, no. Ampak je bilo res zanimivo, no, kar je ogromno. Kar se teče pol glede informacije, kako zapustiti festival, je pa bilo tudi kar odlično organizirano. To je res nekaj wow, tako rečeno. So vaše stvari na Varnem, kako ste potem zapustili kamp? 
Ja, sicer so bile vse navarne, so nas tudi šlepali ven s traktorji, tako da je kar ekipa kar dobro delala na temu, da smo prišli ven navarno. Kako boste zdaj prišli domov? Ja, zdaj probali smo že iti, no. Probali smo že iti na cesto in smo prišli do povzel nek tazga in smo se mogli vrniti nazaj, ker ni bilo več poti. Tako da zdaj smo ponajdli še eno pot, ker je kar dolga ena štir ura vožnja, pa gremo čez Zagreb, pa okoli, no. Tako da tu je ena varianta, da bomo lahko prišli nazaj v postojno, no. Tako.